Welcome back to Death's Cold Embrace. We are here, hiding in the shadows. Trying to find a way to sneak into Lord Bobex's manor. I don't like the looks of that. Oh dear. It's a guard. He's gonna see. Get out here where I can see you. There's nothing. It's not the corpse of your friend. It's me. He's merely fallen asleep on the job. As soon as I find you, hey, stop! Right there. He stopped. Rest in peace, friend. He's not dead. I'll find out who did this. You will find nothing. Come to Papa now. Don't come this way. There's nothing this way. Uh, balls. Who's coming the other way? All right, he's going. Is there another guard coming? Yeah. With a... A blow. There's a bloody hammer. Or is it rest now? I think not. But a ha hammer with a torch. I couldn't hide from him, and they are bloody hard. <laughs> bloody good at fighting. It was only a sword, not a hammer. A bloody, a murder. The steel of vengeance is unsheathed and awake. Ha <laughs> The steel of vengeance. Oh, he's got someone else joining the party. This is. Uh... <gasps> There's a body over here. Two, in fact. Now that blood there is actually mine. The guard hit me with a sword at the same time as I knocked him out. Uh, so... They're fine. I'm... Mildly... Bruised. That's our friend, I think, who went to hide in the pub before yelling for help. The guard in there is whistling. So I guess we just have to wait for our hammer friend here. <laughs> to pass on. Well... To move on. Nobody should be passing on here, except... Ready your arm for bloody vengeance. Uh, my arm is ready for bloody vengeance, but uh, it's not... Well, it's not really my style. Alright, let's not cause anybody else to panic here. Let's... Let's tidy up the evidence. Except the blood. Blood shall stay. Shall stay as a reminder to future generations, not to get hit by guards. Oh, he comes back. Not to get hit by guards while they're trying to find their way into a basement. Oh no, he's not coming this way. Right. Basement. Here we come. So it's been a few days, certainly, since I was here, uh, in game time. It's just yesterday in real time. Turn those lights on. See a little better. There's nothing in the toolbox. Nothing in the crates. Cobwebs, and this time, it opens. Now, must be a coal scuttle or something. <laughs> that is not on this floor, it's above us. We have a missing button! And I, by pure chance, found a replacement button. Let's see if it fits. Da da da! Garrett, you're a genius. Look at this. A beautiful way up into the mansion just for us. Steps. There's a light above me. I wonder if it turns on as I open these doors. I hope not. You troll. It's dark enough out here. Let's turn that light off again. Alright, we're inside the manor. We have to find Lord Fairbanks in the library. So where are we? Do we have a map of the manor? No, we don't. And I don't know where the library is. 
However, Pass in the trees. I recognize that window. Uniforms are better. They got real good boots and nice gold trim in the army. Uh -huh. We have a front door key now. I recognize that window. So one of the guards at least walks up this passageway and hopefully will not notice me standing on the table here. Or I'm in deep shit. Oh, oh, I've got trouble here! Ah. You'll pay for this! Ah. Ah. We'll show you. Well, I failed the mission because they found me. It was pitch black, but they walked into me. So, a good thing, I think, that I uh, saved where I did. So, no complacency this time. This is not a library, but it's a dark room that I can slip into. I can turn that light off. So, I will wait for that first guard and take his key again. If he's quick. And turn around. Oh no, he's off. Whoa! You'll pay for this! Did you know I could jump like that? Uh, let's, let's do that better. Let's do that slightly better. Let's not just walk out in front of him, you doofus. So it's dark enough here that he doesn't see me, so then I can actually nick his key from here. And I might need the key to get back out. Probably not, but it's it's a good key. It's a nice key. It's worth having. It's gonna go up and tell him. No more guard duty. Not six half a years guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say I've uh, had enough. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Guess it was nothing. It was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. Just walk on by. Ah, that's right. All right, so this is uh, the daughter's room, Julia's room, and here is her diary that her father found. No matter how I try, I cannot stop thinking of Robert despite his last name. He was charming, gracious, handsome, everything I could ask for, but for his father being the hated rival of my own. I couldn't muster the courage to reveal to him my own last name, but I know if I ever see him again, if anything comes of this, I must do so someday. I dread that more soundly than anything I've ever known. November. I could bear it no longer. Today I am sending, via trusted courier, a note to Robert asking him to meet me at Ten Bells, three eaves hence, at Red Studio. Red was wonderful as he always has been to me when I explained to him I am in love and needed a rendezvous location and needed to keep it secret. He promised to help me maintain discretion and I am indebted to him for that. Even if things go poorly with Robert, it must never get back to my father that we saw each other even one time. And now I must play the waiting game as I expect Robert has this last week. November 5th. I received a reply from Robert this morning, whoops, agreeing to meet me this evening. When nothing arrived last night, I began to fear his rejection, but the courier told me there was a mishap which delayed the delivery of my note by a day. Oh my stars, I cannot wait to see him tonight, to see if the chemistry we felt at the Bumbleton's masquerade ball was real. November 6th. I have hardly slept so full of life and love do I feel after my rendezvous with Robert last night. He is both charming and intelligent. We spoke on dozens of subjects, and he seemed intrigued that I was conversant on so many of them. I guess he assumed I had spent my life being coddled. But upon learning I am a voracious reader, he realized I am his equal, and that opened up a whole new level of emotional intimacy between us. Before our parting kiss, I asked him to meet again three nights hence, and he immediately agreed. I cannot wait to see him again. I feel so connected to him already after only one meeting. It will be torture being apart from him now I've experienced the connection we have. 11th. It's taken me several days to write this entry, so consumed by emotion have I been. At our second meeting, when Robert threw open the studio window to sing of our love to the watchman outside, I imme immediately realized I could carry this shred no further, and must reveal to him my last name. It hit him hard. 
But after he sorted through his emotions for a minute, he declared his love to be true regardless of our father's feud, and swore to me I am his one true love and damn the consequences. It does make our continued meetings more dangerous, however, and that anxiety is what has delayed the writing of these words. I know not what to do, but I must continue seeing him. So my eighth. The last few weeks have been both glorious and agonizing, having to meet secretly in the dead of night, not even telling my most trusted friends. But we finally realized we had to confide in someone, and revealed our love to Brother Thaddeus a few days ago. He was wonderful and supportive and agreed to marry us come springtime, but urged us not to reveal our love to anyone else yet, and that he would try to work on both our fathers to lay a foundation that might allow them to accept our love. If he cannot, and I fear no words he might say will succeed in bridging the gulf between Fairbanks and Highwater, we will have no, no choice but to elope. January 11th. Robert is going away in a few days on a winter holiday with his family, and I am dreading the thought of not seeing him for a week. The last few months have been so difficult. I fear Mother knows I am in love, but luckily she has not pressed the matter. I guess some things a mother just knows through her maternal intuition. I did take the chance of giving to Robert a small portrait of myself a few weeks ago to connect us in a small way between our meetings. And then my father dug up the floor with a pickaxe and found my li my diary here. Uh, and my hairbrush and mirror, which are of no use. And a music box, which I am tempted to play. Oh, it's the same thing. That's cute. Uh, nice, nice touch by the design desire. Right, so we have another door. There's a gas patrolling just outside this door, so I'm not really happy about going that way again. Uh, tiles. I'm even less happy about going this way. Let's carefully. It should be alright in terms of sound with the other door shut. I'm not really a risk I want to take it. And there's nothing in here anyway. I decided to give you a point for your music box, but I'm taking them all back again. Because of your pointless bathrooms. With real cow. Hope they save some. Bet the Baron gets to eat cows all the time. Not potato, potato. Seen by me. All right, so this is a complete ghost of a mission. All right, well, good thing I saved just a moment before. So I have the thankless task now of finding my way through here. Hmm. Saw something there. No, you didn't see anything. Not as exciting as I thought. You didn't see me, did you, ma'am? <gasps> what was that noise? It was nothing. I guess it was nothing. Good guess. Oh dear. Uh, no, 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 don't come here. Do not turn the lights on. Oh dear, this mission is going to be a lot of fun, I can tell. Alright, she's looking at a diary. She has loot. <laughs> Not that I need it. Alright, here's a different diary. 31st December. Today ends a year better than most. My children are both beautiful and healthy and I just know that Julia is in love with someone. I only wish she would confide in me, but she refuses to even admit there is anyone. A girl and her mother shouldn't have secrets. Edwin is at the age where he needs to strike out on his own, find his own way, but he seems fearful of stepping out of his father's shadow. Richard can be so overbearing at times, and I don't think he realises how much Edwin lives to please him. The boy would do anything his father asks, and I'm afraid that is his greatest flaw. But what am I to do? 16th January. Julia has been withdrawn and distant the last few days. I must assume that she and her romantic interest are either having a quarrel or are, uh, are unable to be together. I know she has been sneaking out at night occasionally the last few months, and even watched her slip into Red Studio once. I asked him about it the next time I saw him, but he claimed to know nothing. Call it intuition or prescience, but I just have an ominous sense about her situation. I mentioned it to Richard today, but he dismissed the thought that she even has a love interest. 20th January. My life may as well have ended today. I buried my sweet daughter in the ground and I have no idea where my son is. 
He fled after realizing he had unwittingly brought about her demise. Oh, Builder, comfort us. Richard violated the sacredness of her diary. He read it and learned that the Highwater boy is Julia's love. He sent Edwin to duel the boy. They're both just boys. How could Richard be so reckless? How could he not have known what would happen? 21st January. I have pulled Julia's old music box out of storage and put it on her dresser. She loved the melody so much as a child, and now it brings me comfort to hear it and see the tiny dancer which was made in her likeness. I would do anything to hold my girls in my arms again, but she has gone on to be with the builder. I light candles in Edwin's room every night in his memory, since his greatest love was reading by candlelight. Perhaps seeing the candles in his window will invite him to return home to his family, knowing we will always forgive him for what happened. 22nd. Richard has quickly spiralled into a very dark place since the funeral. I don't recognise my husband anymore. He's bordering on madness and I don't know what to do. He's poured through every book we own and brought dozens more into the library and when I try to ask him about it, he mumbles about he must find a way. Find a way? To do what? I don't know how much longer I can stay around here. I may have to stay at the inn for a few days or go visit a cousin in the country just to get away from all this. Things are simply not what they were in my father's day. Very true. I've never seen such insolence, such disrespect. And if he had, there would have been floggings, I can tell you. Yeah, it's terrible. Floggings is the right solution. While you're in the next room, let's quickly... Oh, it's not even a reading book. Alright, that's... That's the bathroom, so I don't think I need to go in there. So while you wander around here, let me... See what's out here. Coffee boat is broken. These fancy gadgets are out here. I can't get a simple mug of coffee. Turn some lights off. Yeah, he's coming this way. So, a bunch of watching and waiting and sneaking around the patrolling guards, I guess, is my fate for today. This is the fate that has intervened. This is my... That was the chapters. We are seeking counsel with shadows because I must stay in the shadows. Uniforms are better. They got good boots. Where are you going, dude? Which way do you walk? Which way do you patrol? He stands by the window. He stands by the window for how long? I could go, but he'll turn around, I'm sure of it, just as soon as I do. Yeah, here he comes back. So he does walk up and down this hallway. And then over to the window. Right, time to save and make him go at it. I must find a library and I do not know what it looks like. Ah, no, no light switches over here. That's a fiddle, that's not loot. This is. Damn it, a dead end. How can it be a dead end? You see that? Nope. Uh, looks like nothing. It was indeed nothing. You've made a big mistake, Tether. Oh, no! well, there's a door, but uh, I should have gone through. It's a bit late. <sighs> Ouch. Thank you. Well, this is the problem with uh, this kind of mission is difficult. You fail a lot. There's a bunch of trial and error. It's not exactly the most fun. Can I wait. I need to wait for. Different sequence.
Oh, you did see me. All right, I thought you didn't see me. But I just kept getting stuck. You're not, you weren't supposed to see me. Let me try that again. I should have just jumped over and... Uh... <clears throat> jump, jump. Jump. We can take this guy. Oh dear. It's a simple thing, ledge there, Garrett. Just jump jump over it. Didn't sound like rap this time. We can take this guy. Wait, who was that who saw me? Intruders! I'll find you. Do they see me? I'll find you. Or do they just hear me? Is this a mission fail? Maybe not. Maybe I just have to sit and wait for them to calm down. Alright. There's tiles there, it's not, not fun. Give me a mission where I can uh, sneak about and at least knock people out. Alright, let's use one of these water arrows. Don't think I want to waste a moss arrow there. Not quite yet. Alright, it seems they did not see us, but this is not the library. The library appears not to be upstairs. So. At least as far as I could see, so we are, we do at least appear to be on the right floor. There's a guard strolling up and down the stairs and through this room. There's another guard who was in that room who saw us, but not quite. I've seen an intruder. Look sharp. That's him, but with not quite enough clarity. So, let's save in this dark room and let's see what we've got out here. And he's the one who's going up and down stairs, he's going through there. Good to know. So I can't go that way, but I can go this way. Carefully. Nope. No. Uh, out again. Don't turn the lights on. Why are you coming in here? No! Please. I told you not to turn the lights on! Alright. Reload. Uh, as much as I hate the quick save and quick load, there's really no other alternative in this mission. So he's gonna come in, he's gonna turn the bloody lights on in that room, and I'm so best stay in this room. Oh dear. This is uh, probably not the most engaging mission to watch. Damn drafty halls. Can't yep. keep a torch lit to save your life. Especially when it's a fireplace and not a torch. <coughs> okay, so he comes in here. Does he turn on this light as well, a bastard? Probably. No. So he just goes through. Have that off, thank you very much. I'll have some moss here. Moss over there and make a run for it. Of course, it's bloody locked. Bloody bright. God damn it, how am I supposed to do that? If I have a mana key, I'm not sure if it's the right key. But uh, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna get caught in this room again. Ah. <sighs> I don't understand why I agree to meet this man in his mansion and I have to not be seen by anybody in his mansion. He's hiring me. Why can't I just walk up to the front door and knock and say, hello, my name is Mr. Garrett. If I can't be seen in your manor, then why don't we meet at the pub like we did last time? 
Well, thanks for not turning the light on this time. That's uh, slightly thoughtful of you. Okay, let's get the key ready. Sure, there's. What's there? Oh, nothing. Is he the one that goes upstairs, or is he the other one? <coughs> Where does he go? He goes that way. <coughs> oh, wrong key. We're gonna get seen. Well, there's a small window of opportunity. Maybe I don't have to stay in this room if he doesn't turn the light on again. It may have been a reaction to seeing the uh, fire burnt out. Well, we do have a small window of opportunity to get out of that door, so I can pick it slowly with terror. I don't know how long the window of opportunity is. I'm going to assume that I can stay in here and this fellow will not turn the light on. Alright. He is not turning the light on. Look, pick up the ready. Oops, out of the light. So he comes and stands on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone's walking around upstairs. He's not really looking this way, but uh, he might turn. He might see me as I come out. So I really want to wait until he walks away. <clears throat> oh, where's my lockpick? Hello? Nothing. <clears throat> so I'm just turn on the light. I don't know who or where. But someone's going to come back in here soon, so uh, wait for the next round. Save. Dear, oh dear. If I could just just give you the slightest caress on that uh, crown of yours. Are you even coming? No, you're standing there. Oh, wait. Oh, you're okay, so you do come here. <clears throat> Walk through. You go that way, I go this way. Uh, let's just jump on my lockpick here. You're gonna come and stand on the carpet, facing. Oh wait, wait, there's another. Wait, who's who here? Oh, you stand by the door. For how long? Just because I've been here only a few months. I thought there was the one guard, and there's there's two. So one actually comes and stands there, watching the corner where I'm trying to pick a lock, okay. That would have been good for me to pay attention to. Oh, he's coming this way. Well, not very far this way, okay. As long as he's in the area, I don't think I can get to the door. Come on. I think he's left, and yeah, this is the, the normal guard. Stands there for a minute and then walks through this hallway. Fairbanks, you should not be so paranoid. You don't need this many guards. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's save. Out of the light, out of the light. Okay. I'm just ignoring the one upstairs because I just don't know anything. I think this guy's the guy who goes upstairs, right? Maybe I can get through. Well, 
a little more progress. A stray footstep on the tile, but I don't think anybody heard it, so... Seems... So far, so good. Hopefully the door is almost unlocked now. And uh, next round we can make it all the way through. And I'm sure we'd probably work, walk face first into another guard on the other side. It would be uh, quite entertaining to discover that. Right, so the guard that comes through here, I think he goes out there and then upstairs, stands at the top of the stairs, then he comes back down, stands on the carpet a little before going through the next door. <clears throat> yeah, he's the one, because uh, I did see him go from there, down the stairs to there, I think, or something like that. Does he actually have anything on him? I think he's got the key to that door. That'd be amusing, but uh, no, he's, he's carrying nothing. Carefully, sit in the dark. All right, so there's the guard, who is a nuisance. Why is he coming this way? No, no, sir. Oh, right, so he's a different one. God damn it! All right, it's you. It's the library. You must be pretty desperate to invite a thief into your house. My flower, my, my precious jewel, gone. What? My fault. It, it's all my fault. Both of them must find a way. What's your fault? My sweet gems are gone, and it's all my fault. You're not making any sense. Talk to me. Uh, uh, Mr. Garrett? You're here. Yes. I must have summoned you. Uh, Okay, I discovered my sweet flower was in love with Robert, the eldest Highwater son. In my rage, I sent my only son, Edwin, to challenge him in a duel. I should have known she would follow. Follow? My precious daughter, Julia. In my rage, I couldn't accept that she truly loves him. She followed them and tried to intervene. And Edwin... Ah! What happened? In the haze of fighting for his life, Edwin killed her by mistake. Now he's fled to Builder knows where, and both my children are gone from me. I'm sorry for you, but why did you ask for me? We must find a way, Garrett. A way to bring her back. Okay. You want to bring your daughter back from the dead? Yes, somewhere out there, someone must know of a way. The Hammerites, or, or, or that secret order you only hear rumors about, who supposedly have a vast compendium of knowledge. I've heard you defeated the trickster himself. Surely if there is information on such a ritual, you can find it. Ritual? So you're serious about all of this? Oh yes, Garrett. I'll do whatever I must to bring her back. Having you here has cleared my mind, and now I know exactly what I must do. But I need your help. So besides pity, why should I help you? I'll give my entire gem collection to you. Its value is enormous, but it means nothing to me now. The gems will be yours if you succeed in doing three things. Find information on a ritual, obtain all necessary components, and then make sure Brother Thaddeus is here to help me complete the ritual. <sighs> I don't like playing games or being manipulated. There's nothing shady going on here, Garrett. That no one's trying to entrap you. I'm just a grieving old man looking to set things right and atone for his misdeeds. I guess it's worth the risk. Besides, you're the one making the real sacrifice. Very well. I'll be waiting down in the caverns below the house, getting as ready as I can. Join me down there when you have the information. You just pull this book to open the door. Once you've left the house, I'll send all the guards home, so the house should be empty when you return. Alright, so... Firstly, uh, Mr. Fairbanks, I'm a thief, not a babysitter, nor a necromancer. Secondly, I guess now it's no coincidence we found that uh, Mr. Miller, the inventor, had researched 
and in fact succeeded, partially at least, in a ritual to bring someone back from the dead and turn them into some kind of monstrous, creepy hell creature in their basement. Thirdly, if you send all the guards home, who is going to guard your gem collection so that it won't be stolen by the time I come get back, huh? I should demand payment up front, but uh, I don't think the game will let me do that. So, we got some new objectives. What are they? Still, don't harm or be seen by anybody associated with Ferenc's manor. Remain undetected and get out of the manor as soon as the meeting is over. So we're going to go back out again. At least the door is unlocked now. Fairbanks is bordering on Manus, but fulfill his request by finding information on a ritual to resurrect Julia. Return to Fairbanks once you have the information. He said he would wait in the caverns under the mansion. Well, alright, that's uh, a lot of stuff to do, but uh, I'll read your diary. Alan has bested me again. He came in and outbid me at the last moment on a lucrative deal with Caruso. I am constantly reminded why our families have hated each other for generations when such things happen with regularity. January 6th, Smithers caught wind of an underground deal coming up for bid soon. Seems that the old inventor Miller is wanting to discreetly auction off a formula for synthesizing emeralds, so I have to beat Alan to the punch. January 9th, after checking my accounts, I can only afford to bid 7,000 for the formula, but rumour has it that Highwater isn't even interested, so that should be sufficient. I'll need to find a way of producing the emeralds once I have it, but it should provide me years of steady income. January 11th, damn, Miller informed me that I didn't have the highest bid, so that Smithers did some digging and it seems that Alan did get it after all. I've got to find a way to get it from him. He's leaving on a holiday in two days, so perhaps I can find someone to acquire it from the Highwater Estate while he's away. January 14th. I met with one Garrett, a highly skilled and expensive thief who has quite a reputation in underground circles. He agreed to take the job to steal a formula for 5,000, and I offered a bonus if he can find my grandfather's sword. I don't like resorting to such measures, but I am tired of always being outmaneuvered by Alan. January 15th. Garrett came through delivering the formula as well as my grandfather's sword. In addition, he found some evidence of a mistress which I can use to my advantage in the future. This is a huge turn of events. I feel as though my luck is finally changing. January 20th. Oh, Builder, what have I done? After Elizabeth kept insisting that Julia has a lover, I decided to poke through her diary and to my horror I discovered not only she has a lover, but he is Alan's son, Robert. In my rage, I sent Edwin to defend her honor in a duel, but Julia got wind of it and followed and intervened only to be slain by Edwin. Tonight I bury my daughter and my son has not been seen since and I cannot bear the pain. January 21st. I have poured through every book I can find from my personal and the public libraries and cannot find any information on a ritual to do what I want to do. Must find a way. January 22nd. After giving up on finding a means myself, I am sure that Garrett can find a way to do it. He came through for me once and he can do it again, so I sent him a summons. Meanwhile, I will keep digging and looking. Must find a way. Well... Can't read that. Do you have anything else of interest in your library? Probably not. It's also quite cramped. Uh, yeah. If I knock you out, I'm sure I failed the mission. And the book I need to tweak is not accessible just yet. Can't turn the lights on. Uh, for all that good, all the good that does. This helps me see that there isn't any other loot that I'm missing. Lights back off. Save. Okay, so now I just have to get out of the mansion without being seen. And that's the front door there. I have the key to it. I can't get out the way I came in because uh, I don't think so. It involves getting upstairs and up the stairs and avoiding two guards. It seems kind of hard to do. But, do I have any more mush arrows? I do not. Do you have a rope arrow? In theory I could get up and up the rope, but it's, climbing rope arrows is so slow that uh, I don't think the window of opportunity is big enough to get out the way I came in. I could flashbang my way out, perhaps. If need be. Where is the one that walks down the stairs? He's the one I'm worried about. At least I can watch their patrols in a bit of safety from here. So this guy, all right, there's the one that goes up and down the stairs, right? He leaves the room. Let's save here. This guy goes. What the hell? No, no, there's nothing. He stands here for a minute. 
Oh god, no. No, 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 no. You're messing everything here. You're All messing. Right. Where are you? You're messing with all the timing. This is not right. Give up. <clears throat> Go back to your job. Yeah, timing's all messed up. The other guy's coming back now. Does he just walk around in a circle there? Gonna be a nuisance if so. And now he's going up the stairs. Oh, oh this guy's coming back. Hello. There's no one. Show yourself. I'm not here. No will. Guess we're just nothing. <sighs> and he stands at the top of the stairs, looking down. So. uh... A ridiculous premise. Come see me in my mansion, but don't let anybody see you come in or out. And, uh. Yeah. Why don't you send the guards home now so I can get out more easily? You leave. He's gonna come down the stairs any second now. Here he comes. Oh, I see the other guard walking back. Is it? Yeah, they both move. Both on the move. <coughs> yeah, he's what's coming down the stairs, right? Comes around, he stands there, looking at the front door. Is that the other guy coming back from there? If you if you guys are that much in sync, you're never gonna have a free moment to even to leave the library. Unless there's a way out of the library. The other guard's just about here. Here he comes. Well, here's where a noisemaker noise would come in handy. Could at least fire into the next room, they would go off there looking for it, and I could, uh. He's up the stairs. See, when he goes up the stairs is when I need to go behind his back to get to the front door. Yeah, the other guard is standing there looking this way. You can't see him from here because of the pillar, but he is there. There's a brief moment when he goes he goes up there, looks down the hallway, and then he turns around and looks down the stairs, so uh, most of the time he's upstairs, I can't get out. There's the guard that's patrolling up and down there, which really gives me no other opportunities to get up the stairs, I can see. Well, he does stand by the window a lot, but uh, this is ridiculous. Alright, that's not really working, is there? Another way out of here. Any other? I, oh, I can get upstairs here. Maybe. Is that wood? I think got a couple of rope arrows. Can I get? That is wood. I'll shut that door. Whoop. That's a rope arrow. Let's try going up here. <coughs> Yeah, okay. Get both my arrows back, I'm gonna need them. Oh, that's bad actually, I'm gonna need another rope arrow. I'm just gonna be kinda of stuck here. Well, this means I might have an opportunity to get back in the way I can. <sighs> ah! <coughs> Ouch. Not like that. What us Put a rope here. Alright, well, okay, this is a little... Something I could have just jumped in through this window and uh, landed in the library all along. God damn. Yeah, I would have taken some damage, but look, I've taken damage anyway. So, I need to... Wait till... This guard patrolling there is not looking this way. And... Then jump through... Back in the hatch... Close the hatch... Go downstairs. Ah! Okay. What's going on here? Nothing good. Nothing good. 
That didn't work. I'll find you. Please don't. Can I even get through this window? That? Ah. <coughs> Not like that. I'll turn you up soon enough. Maybe I can't. Ah. Oh, damn it, if I can't get through here, can't hide then I am gonna be very annoyed. Oh! Hey. Hello. Ah. Thank you. Ah, all right, let's load. Who would have thought getting out of the mansion would be so damn difficult? All right, forget my rope arrow. I'm no use to me up there. Well, I guess I should try going through this one just to see if it can be done. No. Why did I save after putting the rope arrow up there? That's ridiculous. Alright, I do have one other idea to try. <clears throat> and that is to ask... Is someone there? No. Is there any other kind of secret passage up here? And it is so dark I can barely see. But, uh... There's rafters I could maybe climb on, but, uh... Does that help? Doesn't really look like there is, but uh, maybe I can get down without killing myself. Maybe. <coughs> oh, whatever, I'm not dead. So now what? You, sir, no help. Where's my healing potion? Only one. <coughs> I'll keep it. Hmm. Right, so, can I open these windows? No, on the too narrow anyway. So, I need to get upstairs or some nonsense. Seriously. Seriously? <sighs> Fairbanks, I want to kill you. Alright, he's gonna come through. So right then he's gonna head up the stairs and that's not my opportunity to help the stairs behind him. Oh, he's yeah, he goes upstairs. I can observe at least. You don't want to mess with me, Tapper boy. Nope. Leave me alone. Help! Okay, Help! okay. Don't let him get me. Uh. The guard outside the manor saw me, but that's fine, I guess. He just vanished. Help! Oh, no, no. Go over there. Go over there. Not this way. Hold still. It'll hurt less. Ow. Ow. You'll, you'll be sorry sooner or later. God damn it. All right, where's my healing potion? I need it now. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Come back here. I'm not here. You will be brought to justice, criminal. Come back here. As soon as I find you, you'll come out and fight me. Help! <gasps> oh, my arrow hit wood. That's why I didn't distract them. I was supposed to hit the stone. Help! Help! What are you doing running around in there? So, I see what happened. I got outside the mansion and the card in front of the manor 
vanish before I had time to properly register that he'd seen me. Uh, yeah, I find that kind of amusing. Also, sir, you don't run into other people's houses to shout for help, surely? That's, that's just not cricket. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, He's armed. Yeah, I'm not here. Have they stopped hunting me? It would appear that they have stopped hunting me. So, alright, I'm out of the manor. I suppose technically I didn't get seen by anyone associated with it. So now I need to find information on a ritual to resurrect Julia. Well, you know, if... You know those research notes you asked me to get? That is the information. So... Where is that now? Or was that... Was I getting that for high water? I don't know anymore. Where am I going to find this information? Probably not anywhere there. Maybe the Hammerite Chapel. But, uh... Mechanist Research Center seems more like the place. The Mechanists were using... Uh, the servants. I don't know that they were supposed to be dead, but uh, maybe that's the interpretation these people have here. Either way, the Mechanist Research Center is probably where I need to get to next. Good news is, I don't need to be... I can be seen on the street now. So, unlike the previous mission, I just need to run away when I am. Oh, you didn't see me. You didn't see anything. Don't think you can hide for long. I can hide for very long. Look there. He's armed. Oh, I can't knock him out either. Look at his bloody helmet. I'll find you soon enough. I'm not here. I'm not here. That's right. Look over there. Or even better. <clears throat> walk away. Alright. Uh, well, I think this is probably a good place to end this episode. I do need to stop for lunch. And, but I'll be back later on today to finish this off. So, thank you for watching. And I will see you for more of Death Skull Embrace in the next episode.